Let's talk about King Kong. This film was directed by Peter Jackson, most notably starring Jack Black, Naomi Watts, and Adrian Brody, released in December of 2005 with a runtime of 188 minutes. This film introduces Anne, who had a career in acting cut short by the fact that the theater she worked at closed down. This film follows introducing Carl, played by Jack Black, who invites Anne for a role in a film about a voyage to a newly discovered island. Carl decides to set sail early, trying to evade law enforcement over theft, and to start the shooting of his film. Everything goes wrong when they come across the island with hostile natives and a large gorilla known as King Kong, thus the title of the film. Let's start with the positives of this film. It had really good special effects for its time. I was very impressed, and overall I found myself very visually pleased by this film. This film had very entertaining and intense sequences with not only King Kong, but this island had a variety of creatures from lizards to alligators to dinosaurs and even horrifyingly large insects. These large and intimidating creatures make for lots of action-packed thrills, and it's very fun to watch as a film in the second act. This overall had a really fast pacing in the second act, and it also saves lots of good action sequences for the third act too. There's a lot to look forward to with this film, but there's also some major negatives. Let's talk about those. By far the biggest downside with this film is the characters. The only character you can actually invest in and care for is the protagonist, Anne. But literally all the characters that are so underdeveloped and uninteresting get so much screen time. And many of them even just end up being throwaway characters. It's such a waste and they don't put any effort into the development of these characters. And that's really frustrating. I was especially frustrated about Carl, played by Jack Black. He seemed like such an interesting character at first, and there was so much potential for him to develop, but the film just didn't follow through and give him any development. He just ended up being another boring sideline character, and that's really frustrating when a film does that. And I'm such a big fan of Jack Black too, so I was personally frustrated by this too. Another major issue is this film had such an overly long and terribly paced first act that didn't even contribute anything significant to the rest of the film. It was just spending so much time introducing a bunch of side characters and throwaway characters. They were so uninteresting and underdeveloped, and I just couldn't stand it. This film also had a really bad third act. There were so many sequences that just didn't make sense, and many logical aspects that were just completely ignored and never addressed, and it was also terrible pacing. I just would have liked to see more of the logical aspects explored. I'm not going to spoil anything, but they really should have gone more into more detail in certain aspects, and it would have been a lot better. However, if you can get past the really slow first act and then just enjoy this film as a really fun and entertaining thrill ride, then you're probably going to find yourself enjoying this film. But if you're looking for something more well-rounded with really good characters and good pacing, then you're probably not going to find yourself enjoying this too much. I decided overall, I'm giving this film a 7 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next video.